I always tell my people what's most important to them is the communication with their clients, that when they get a phone call, they answer the call. When they miss the call, they call them back as soon as they can. And when they're emailing their clients, that they over-communicate. What we're doing now is we're really doubling down on our touch points and client relationships. And I've done surveys myself and asked, hey, like, what's most important to you as far as the service your rep provides? And overwhelmingly, it's the communication from the employee to the client. It's extremely important that right now we're doubling down on what that touch point looks like. You know, what's the content? You know, what event can we have coming up to talk about? Um, you know, what benefits maybe do we need to educate them on? What games coming out, coming up might they need to swap and, and, and you know, use ticket flexibility for? So. I think if there's one thing that we're doing really well and focusing on strongly right now, it's touch points and how we execute those. The relationship between the service rep and the client is always gonna be the end all be all. Like we we look at every year on the Pelican side, especially, like what our benefits are gonna be. You know, the event access where, you know, right now we're not sure like, can we do certain things, but um, event access, uh, you know, ticket flexibility with ticket swaps, buybacks, um, you know, discounts or credit for merchandise or concessions, all of these things. And at the end of the day, if we don't understand what makes people tick, then all of the benefits that we create kind of go to deaf ears. So, and what I mean by that is, as far as your question about answer, answering the, the retention or renewal, you know, dilemma, is we really just need to dig deeper into what makes each person tick. Um, and so that's why I, I tend to always come back to the relationship. And I've always been a proponent, if you hire the best people, you're going to generate more revenue. And so, you know, obviously when you hire the best people, you want to develop them, you want to train them better, and that's, that's going to be helpful. But at the end of the day, if I can hire the best people who are really good at developing relationships and being likable, um, then I think that's going to really help us solve our renewal equation. And, and look, there's going to be a lot of people who don't come back due to COVID or it's just not for them anymore. Or they can't make the commitment to 42 games, whatever the case might be. But at the end of the day, we have to find out, okay, Joe Smith, he, he can care less about getting an autograph from a player. But you know what? He's got two share partners and he needs ticket flexibility. So when he needs help on moving a game around and we have the inventory, we better take care of him. And then the other person might be the complete opposite and they want all the love in the world and they want a photo opportunity with the players. The hardest thing for us is to make the delineation between business use and personal use, but it really comes down to the relationships.